Hey guys, it's Chris with Sir Links a Lot, and today we're going to be talking about citations. Citations are something that are fairly simple, but they are also super important and are known as the lifeblood of local SEO. Uh, that being said, you can use them for more than just local, but we'll talk about that a little more later. Uh, we'll be covering a lot of stuff in this video, starting with some very basic things, so be sure to use the timestamps at the bottom if you want to skip around to something specific. Uh, we'll be covering what citations are, how to use them, how to get them yourself, and what makes our citations special and how to place an order if that's something you're interested in. All right, let's go. So here we are on hotfrog.com, which is one of many citation sites. Uh, citations are listings on business directories such as Hotfrog that contain your business's NAP, which is your name, address, and phone number of your business. And of course, they have a link going to your business's website as well. Uh, they are super important for local SEO because they're how Google essentially verifies that your business exists at a certain location, and they build a ton of location relevance to help your rankings. Um, like mentioned before, they are known as lifeblood of local SEO and something you absolutely have to do. There's really no way around it. Uh, that being said, uh, you can use them for affiliate sites as well as a form of pillow link. Uh, you won't really get the benefit for the location relevance, but they're still something that are very natural to build for any kind of website and can help with your link diversity. So here we are on the actual citation that we built for ourselves on Hot Frog a long time ago, as you can see by this old logo that we've got up here. And I'm just going to walk through some kind of the basic components that we have here. So right here, you see you have our business name and then our address and our phone number to NAP, um, as well as some other stuff like our email, link to our website, and some citations have different stuff. For example, this one has uh, kind of industry sectors that our business is involved in. Uh, we also have a photo gallery, which is where you can upload your logo. And then down at the bottom, we've got our business profile, which is where you can just tell a little bit about your business. Back to our site and scrolling down to right here, you can see that citations are white hat, which means they are very natural and safe to use. Um, there's nothing you need to worry about as far as getting yourself in trouble with Google when you're building citations. These are something that real businesses do every day. It's just something that's very natural to do. And one thing that's also worth talking about is how citations really compare to other types of links. Um, so citations are necessary, but they're not really something that's going to drive your rankings forward unless you're in a super low competition niche where you really don't need anything else to rank. Uh, but that's not something I ever really plan on, um, but you know, that might be your situation. Um, but as far as stuff that really moves your rankings forward, you know, you're looking at stuff like guest posts, niche edits, PBN links, everything else that we've got here are kind of different forms of what we'd call pillow links, which are used for diversification and just naturalness. Uh, citations are a little bit different in the fact that they are really necessary for local SEO. Uh, but again, they're still not something that really drives your rankings forward. All right, so for how to use citations. Uh, for most projects and especially local projects, you will usually be building citations at the very beginning of the link building process. Uh, you can always do more every now and then if you'd like, but they're really so important for local search that they're generally just one of the very first things that are done. Uh, that being said, if you didn't do citations at the beginning of your link building campaign, don't worry about it too much. You can just do them now, right? Uh, a couple more things that are important to note when you're building your citations. Uh, the first thing is where you're going to point your link. Um, you know, if your business, if you're an affiliate site, you'll just point it to your homepage usually. If you're a local business and you only have one location, you're generally going to point it to your homepage. And if you are uh, a local business that say has 10 different location pages, uh, you generally do a separate set of citations to each location page. Uh, next up, one more thing about the NAP, your name, address, and your phone number. Uh, it's very important that you get these things right and uniform across all of your citations. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty simple stuff, but you just need to make sure that these are uniform through all of your citations or it can create some problems for Google. Uh, you know, if you do have inconsistency, it's not that big of a deal. You'll just need to log in and make the changes to make sure you don't have any kind of issues. Another thing is for your business description down here. 
Um, you could do the same business description for every citation that you do, or a better practice would be to change things up a bit so that you can use some different keywords and really just kind of target uh, different things with each, um, each business description that you do. Uh, that being said, you know, doing one same, this, the same description across all your citations is fine. It would just be better to kind of vary things up a bit uh, so you can target more things. And lastly, you want to check for duplicate listings. Uh, basically, it just means that you don't want listings from uh, the same website. So let's say from HotFrog, you don't want two listings from HotFrog going to the same uh, location page. So we wouldn't want two um, hot frog listings going to our homepage. Now, if we had, you know, 10 location pages, you could have a hot frog listing going to each different location page because each one will have a different address, maybe a different phone number as well. Um, but as far as going to the same location page, you want to make sure that you don't have duplicates. Again, this is just something that could cause some issues, so best to avoid it. All right, so for how to get citations, it's fairly simple. Uh, you can just go onto Google, type in something like citation sites, and there'll be a million different lists here of a million different uh, websites that have uh, you know, a list of hundreds of different citation sites you can go and sign up for. Uh, it's very easy. You'll just go to the website, uh, you know, create a new account with a username and password, all that good stuff, and then fill out your profile fully. Um, ensuring things like your NAP is the same as everywhere else and you're not making a duplicate listing, all that good stuff. But as you can probably tell, this is a pretty time consuming and uh, low level task. Uh, if you're just getting started in SEO, you might be doing uh, this yourself manually to try to save on your budget. Uh, but most SEOs will either have someone on their team or maybe a virtual assistant do this for them or they'll order them from a trusted provider such as ourselves in order to free up some additional time for you to spend on more important or uh, more technical things. So now I'll be walking through our citations and how to place an order. Um, what makes our citations better than a lot of the competition um, is that we know the best directories that you want to get listed on. Uh, all our work is manually done. Uh, you know, we don't use any bots. This is to ensure that you know, no mistakes are made and that everything is done to the highest quality as possible. Uh, we check for duplicate listings uh, before creating any citations, which as I talked about before, uh, can be an issue if you have duplicate listings. Uh, we send full reports upon completion, uh, meaning a full list of every URL your citations were created on, as well as login information for your records. And lastly, we are quite a bit cheaper than most of the com competition out there, uh, which obviously is a big thing. <laughs> so scrolling down, this is kind of what the general process for getting citations will look like. Uh, you know, you place your order, you give us all the information you need and, um, you know, make a payment on PayPal. Uh, then we go and we check over the information. We check for duplicate listings, all that, and we actually go in and build all of your citations. Uh, this usually takes a week or less. Uh, sometimes it can take more, you know, this isn't a guarantee, but we really, um, you know, citations don't take a long time to build. So it's usually less than a week for an order to be completed. And then that's it. Uh, after about a week or so, we send you your report. So scrolling down to the pricing here, you can see that they get cheaper as the number of citations in the pack goes up. And when you're ready to place an order, you would just click the order now button. After you click the order button, you'll be taken to the order form. Uh, on all of our order forms, be sure to look at the information up here at the top. Uh, it's usually somewhat important. If you ever have any questions, go ahead and send us an email. Um, if you're a first time customer, you'll need to fill out the, your name and your email to make a new account. Uh, if you're a returning customer, you can just sign in if it's not already signed in for you. Uh, then we come to the packages. You can select whatever packages you want. You can also change the quantity. So if you wanted five of the 40 citations packs, which I don't know why you would, you could do that. Uh, so we'll just leave it set on a uh, 140 pack for now. Um, so then you can select your add-ons. Here we have 10 unique descriptions. Uh, like I was talking about before for your business description, how uh, it's better, always better if you were to um, basically write different descriptions so you can target more keywords and that kind of thing. 
Um, yeah, you can do that by having us write 10 unique descriptions. You could also change that quantity here. Um, you don't really need to go crazy with this. Usually people will just get like one and this will be cycled out through the 40 citation pack. So, you know, the, so if you have 10 unique descriptions, we would use each description four times in a 40 pack. You know, you could write, you could get four times. So that this would be 40 unique descriptions. So each one would be um, completely unique if you wanted to. Then down here, we have the option to pass your links through an indexer. Uh, this will increase the odds that, your, that Google will actually index the citation. Uh, this isn't something I usually do, but some people really like to do it. So we'll go ahead and leave that checked. Um, then you give us the information we need, your site's URL. Here you have your NAP, your name, address, and phone number. So make sure that info is correct. Here we have your, some social media options for you to include if available. Uh, here we ask for the approximate number of citations you've already built as well as some places for you to copy and paste your previous citation URLs. Or if you have access to a spreadsheet, you can just upload the spreadsheet here. And if you don't have this information, it's not the end of the world. It just really helps us uh, to really make sure there aren't any duplicates. But you know, we do check for these things on our own. It's just always better to get the information from you as well. Uh, next up, we have the uh, option to upload a business logo so we can slap that on all the citations we make and any additional instructions you think we might need to know. Uh, so when you look that over and it's all done, you can hit complete purchase and it will take you to the PayPal portal. So like I was saying, it takes about a week for things to be finished up, usually less. And uh, if you wanted to see a sample report as on all of our products, you can scroll past the pricing table to the FAQ section and you can check out a sample report here. So here's what a sample citation report looks like. Uh, you can just see it's got all the basic information that you included about your site, as well as all the domains that we built citations on, as well as the individual URLs for each actual citation and the username and password for each one for your records if you ever need to make any changes. All right, guys, that's about it for citations. We covered a bunch of stuff from what they are, how to use them and how to get them. Uh, so yeah, hopefully this video has been helpful. Um, if you're thinking about placing an order or, or if you ever have any questions, feel free to email us anytime at info at .co, or you can send us a message on Facebook. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps us out a lot. And also be sure to sign up for our mailing list on our homepage, as well as join our Facebook group, SEO Roundtable, to get VIP access to flash sales, updates, and as well as to take part in the SEO discussion and our learning community. Thanks, guys, and see you next time.